A Supreme Court decision on President Biden's debt forgiveness plan, that's expected any day now. Tarek Miner is joining us. And Tarek, in the meantime, Senate Republicans, they're announcing their own plan to address America's student debt crisis. Uh, they certainly are, Kent. The GOP debt forgiveness package is called the Lowering Education Costs and Debt Act. It aims to provide relief to more than 45 million Americans facing skyrocketing higher education costs. Well, as an attorney for the state of Florida that has student loans, and I've been practicing for over 20 years, yes, I think some help uh, is needed for people that give their entire career to public service. Proponents of student loan forgiveness like local attorney Jan Abel are still waiting to find out what the future holds when it comes to more than $1.6 trillion in outstanding U.S. student debt. In August 2022, President Biden announced a plan to cancel at least $10,000 in student debt. That plan was met with several legal challenges, two of which landed before the Supreme Court, prompting Republicans to come up with a plan of their own. I'm just waiting on an email to tell me if they're going to forgive it or not. So why can't they just forgive the whole thing? At least at least for the freshmen. Forgive the whole balance. The GOP's plan is made of five pieces of legislation that reform the college data reporting system to make more information about graduation rates and debt after graduation more accessible. There would also be a requirement to educate students about loan plans, including expected monthly payments after graduation. One of the bills also cuts down on student loan repayment options from nine different plans to two. And another key part of the GOP's plan would also end graduate plus loans, which have no borrowing limit. So if the Supreme Court does strike down President Biden's debt relief program, which is a possibility, the forgiveness program, Republican lawmakers are expected to push their five bills through Congress next. Stacey. Thank you, Tara.